Hello and you're very welcome to this video. In this video we're going to learn how to find the an angle in a right angle triangle when we're given two sides. So in this triangle we're looking to find this angle here. Now that weird funny shape that's called theta. Okay it kind of looks like a zero with a line through it. That's an old Greek symbol and we call that theta. Okay t-h-t-e-t-a. So in this question here, we've, we're looking to find that angle. We're given two sides of the triangle. So we're given the side there four and the side seven. So this is what we're going to do. First step you have to figure out is whether we're going to be using sine, cos, or tan. Now, if you can't remember how to do this, check back in the video. There's a link in the top right corner of the screen there now. We should remember our old phrase that we had. Can you remember it? It's so ka toa. So we need to figure out which side is the opposite adjacent and hypotenuse in this triangle. So let's go up here. Well, in this triangle here, we always remember that this side directly opposite the right angle is called a hypotenuse. The, oh, it's going all over the place on me today. Okay. Now, the side directly opposite our angle is known as the opposite and the side between the right angle and the angle itself is known as our adjacent a d j adjacent okay so from this we can see that i do not have a hypotenuse there at all i don't know the length of my hypotenuse however i do know my opposite did not know what I did there. There we go. And I know what my adjacent is here as well. Okay. So, therefore, what am I going to use? Am I going to use sine, cos, or tan? Well, can I use sine? In sine, I need to have the opposite and the hypotenuse. Do I have the hypotenuse? Nope. So I know it's not going to be sine. If for a cos or cosine, I need to have an adjacent which I have, and the hypotenuse. I don't have the hypotenuse, so I'm going to scratch that one out. However, let's see here, I have an opposite, I have an adjacent, so I'm going to be using tan. Excellent. So, let's continue on. So, what I do now, I'm going to write out my little thing for tan. So, tan A is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Okay, so scroll this down here for a second. I know tan A is in the, uh, opposite over adjacent. So this question, I'm looking for A stands for the angle. So in this case, I'm looking for tan of theta is equal to my opposite. Well, I've worked out my opposite is four and my adjacent is seven. So tan theta is equal to four over seven. What do I do now? Well, I need to put this into my calculator now. So I need to go uh, press shift tan. So it's going to be writing tan to the minus one brackets four over seven. So on my calculator, if you can't remember how to use it is in a calculator, check the video. It's up in the top left corner of the screen there now. So I'm doing shift tan four over seven. And I'm going to get an answer when I put that in there of is equals to 0 0.296. Seven, four. No, sorry, I'm after getting that wrong. Whoops, my apologies. I'm going to get twenty nine even. Point seven four four eight eight one three etc. Okay, so that is what my degrees are equal to. Now, I'm asked to round this to the nearest degree. So I'm going to go to the first number after the decimal point here, which is seven. Because it's above five, that means we're going to round up. So that's telling me that theta is equal to 30 degrees. So to recap on the steps there, the first thing that we're going to do, okay, so step one is we're going to identify my hypotenuse, opposite, and adjacent in the triangle. Okay, step two is we're going to decide 
if we need to use sine, cos, or tan. And then step three, we're going to put our number, the numbers from the triangle. into the answer for step two. And there you go. That's what you have to do. Sorry, should be saying step three there, not just random step. There you go, folks. If you have any questions on that at all, please ask below in the comments. Otherwise, if you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for watching. See you again in the next video. Bye now.